uh, India is a culturally diverse country. Uh, Abhijay, could you share any inspirations for your company that you were able to draw from uh, our culture? When you enter Code Wave, uh, you'll, you'll actually notice a board which says, respect everyone you come in touch with. This is loosely inspired by uh, our own Namaste, uh, which is a mark of respect uh, without having any uh, judgment or bias of age or anything, which, which has been happening for uh, a long time in India. Uh, so I, I, I strongly believe humility opens you up uh, for inspiration that's all around you. We had our very own tea auntie uh, share uh, her story to the entire team, how she scaled her tea business from five cups to 500 cups and for 21 relentless years without compromising on quality. Greatness is all around you and uh, all you need to do is observe very closely. Other uh, inspiration I can say is uh, Ahimsa. Uh, this has been extensively documented within multiple religions. So a lot of leaders uh, have uh, preached the same. Uh, but what we feel is that it's not just for the body, but also for the mind. So uh, at CodeWave, uh, building an environment where teams self-form, trusting each other, sensing each other's need, uh, empathizing with each other in the moments of others' needs, like uh, battling for someone else or boosting your co-workers' morale, uh, you know, taking local decisions, uh, embracing team conflicts without having managers, and uh, doing all of these being their natural, authentic self. Uh, this, this, I feel, has been one of our biggest successes. What is the necessity of culture in, in a particular environment such as this and how important it is? Designing for agility uh, requires you to address things like how are people going to trust each other? How are people going to apply common sense to the project? Uh, of course, you can prepare, plan, apply all of the knowledge that you gathered but uh, you really can't prepare individuals and a team to face uh, the unknowns in the moment. Yeah. So, so you have to be hum humble, you have to be vulnerable, you have to be open to uh, you know, facing rejections, you have to be really open to trying out ideas and suggestions and quickly learning what works, what doesn't work. Saying this to my peers that, you know, hey, I tried implementing that solution, but it just didn't work. So maybe I'll try an alternative thing. We had applied design thinking to designing our own culture. So which means you have to start with psychological safety. You have to start with trust. You have to start with common sense. Uh, everything that makes us human. Being transparent is important. Embracing your authenticity is important. Uh, having empathy in each human interaction is important. So I think... Cultural ethos plays a large role. The environmental atmosphere plays a large role in how effectively agile you can be. All the teams can be agile, but a high trust team uh, can pull off an agile project and be extremely effective in the outcome. Uh, there's also a thought about ethics uh, uh, in entrepreneurship. Uh, I would like to uh, ask Abhijit uh, if there are any specific tips that he would like to share for wanting to be ethically aware. I believe uh, business ethics is ultimately personal ethics. A company is simply a community of employees working together for a larger cause or goal. Uh, as a teenager, my, my, my inspiration on ethics was possibly my, uh, my father. Uh, he's a retired central government officer who was against corruption and bribes. Uh, we've, we've also let go of customers uh, who have not been a match um, on our values. Uh, there have been a few occasions in the past um, where that's happened. Uh, leaders set the tone for ethics in their organizations. Uh, what behaviors are promoted within an organization is very, very critical. Uh, when, when the selfish behavior is promoted in a company, uh, it, it sends across a message that unethical behavior is not just tolerated, but also rewarded. This is also something that, uh, you know, people take it back to their homes. Uh, for all you know, uh, there's another young Abhijit uh, looking at their parents' behaviors and being influenced subconsciously. Uh, so it is a long chain of events, so we have to be extremely conscious uh, is what I feel. So entrepreneur or not, uh, we all have to be ethically responsible uh, so that we are in influencing positively uh, to our surroundings. On a daily basis, you see a lot of conflicts that are happening amongst the teams. Uh, when, when ignored, it can uh, disrupt the momentum of the teams and also at times the company as well. It's an opportunity for me to re-emphasize and incentivize the greatest of human values uh, which are associated with the company as well. 
not to limit the organization values to just being on the website in code bay again uh, let's say transparency uh, is uh, radical transparency not just transparency is a core value um, how we've implemented is is uh, uh, the complete team has access to all the contracts the pricing the customer information all of that established organizations who are actually finding it quite difficult in this current economic crisis um what extra precautions do startups need to take in in this environment uh, can i ask this question to vidya please the most fundamental mindset shift here is uh, letting go of control um because see traditionally as businesses and organizations we have our targets uh, as course you can't go cash flow negative you have monthly targets you have quarterly targets so that puts us all of us in a pressure where uh, organization try, try to control how teams work and you know tries to control how outcomes happen and suddenly when covid happened and everyone had to lose control it was suddenly so hard uh, so i think fundamentally it comes down to autonomy um, if we can sort of integrate autonomy at radical levels you know uh, not like a gimmick or a coping up strategy right <laughs> it has to be uh, uh, you know uh, followed at a very radical level it is like a cultural ethos uh, you encourage a culture of autonomy of course it's not going to be chaotic because autonomy comes itself with responsibility and which means you will have individual responsibility of individual plus collective responsibility so you will have even more control of the situation without having control i think uh, there was a mention about uh, no manager team concept uh, that's an interesting thing could you elaborate a little more and say how that can be actually achieved but why is there a need for a manager itself like you know if let's say for example let's take an example of a marriage uh, there are you know cousins etc form a, a, a single team and they make uh, the marriage success right? a huge amount of tasks at hand and if they're delegating tasks working together as one single team taking the risk taking the pressures and making it happen so we we kind of questioned everything you know that uh, you know and and wanted to kind of uh, rewire the way we do certain things we we totally trust our team it's an ownership driven environment and we uh, trust them to make it happen together as one unit they form together and say that hey I, for this particular challenge i would need these different sets of people someone is a footballer and we have a football app coming in they would say hey i'm 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 free right now and i'm interested keen on kind of you know picking up this particular project so that that's what makes it more uh, of an ownership driven environment right so you uh, are connected to what you are delivering and what what the outcomes is so you don't need someone telling you what to do and how to do it there's never a company without any challenges i'd like to ask vidya this question what is the biggest challenge faced by cold day by cold wave this question comes from uh, raja shekhar the customers that we have the organizational culture that they come from right those are typically orthodox environments where you have traditional practices so sometimes we feel there is a little culture shock uh, you know when these two teams come together right so uh, in in our, in our culture teams form on their own nobody questions anybody when uh, you know a pmba wants to test an application nobody you know it's all free and open uh, and and on the other hand uh, the customer team comes with a certain clear uh, predefined expectations right uh, so that that's been one of our challenges but it's been a great problem to solve sometimes we change the other organization sometimes the other organization changes us so it ends up uh, every project it ends up changing both our businesses uh, in unpredictable ways and i think that's the most powerful thing uh, you know uh, about this challenge Are there any ways to overcome these? That was also the second part of the question from Rajesh Shekhar. I would leave it to both the teams to sort of uh, figure out what pace of work or what level of agility. I would say uh, you want to be agile to four weeks or you want to be agile to a quarter. What is that pace that will work for the product development to succeed? I think do, these are the local decisions that the team and uh, the customers team also takes together. Uh, and that's a great way to go about building the product